While Coral Island is technically a farming simulation game, it has so much more to offer besides managing crops. Between diving, mining, and yes, romancing the 25 amazingly beautiful dateable NPCs, it can be easy to find your farms lacking and your money, well, yeah. But farming doesn't have to be difficult. In this video, I'm going to tell you the best crops to plant in each season so you can keep the money flowing while you focus on what really matters. Bonus tip number three in particular is a must know. I'll be making many more videos about Coral Island on this channel, and I also stream Coral Islands every week. So if you're interested in more Coral Island content, go ahead and subscribe and press that like button. It helps me out a ton and you'll stay notified of when I post more tips and tricks and when I'm going live. Without further ado, let's take a look at these crops. When first starting a new save, we arrive to Coral Island at the beginning of spring. You'll start out with the town ranking of F and gain new available crops as you help the town lift that ranking up towards its goal. To start off, you'll have crops such as turnips, carrots, and potatoes, among other things. You'll be gifted some turnip seeds to start out, so go ahead and get those planted. They grow in four days, so you'll be seeing the profits in no time. You'll earn 30 coins per turnip that you sell, which is a 15 coin profit, or more if it's bronze, silver, or higher quality. While cauliflower is definitely an investment at 70 coins per seed, you'll want to save up for those seeds, because each cauliflower will give you at least 135 coins, which works out to be more than double the profit per day of turnips. This is going to be your best crop at the F Town rank in spring. You'll just have to be patient while you water those sweet, sweet cauliflower plants for those eight days. As you increase your town rank to E, you'll gain access to cucumber, poppy, radish, soybean, and sugarcane seeds. You might not be impressed when you see that it costs 50 to buy sugarcane seeds and that each individual sugarcane only sells for 15, but don't worry. Sugarcane is one of the crops that will keep growing all throughout the season. A single sugarcane seed could grant you more than 295 net profit if you plant it at the beginning of the season, and over 500 profit if you run it through the keg. So don't underestimate this crop. Its profit per day actually surpasses that of cauliflower. The D ranking will give you shard, lettuce, peas, and strawberries. Strawberries will give you a profit of 14 coins per day if you plant them at the start of the season, so go with those if you can. To summarize, cauliflower is going to be the best crop for spring at the F town rank. Once you progress to town rank E and D, the best crops are sugarcane and strawberries respectively, but only if you plant them at the beginning of the season, otherwise stick with cauliflower. That brings us to our first bonus tip know your crops and plant the ones that will allow multiple harvests as early in the season as possible. This will maximize your profit and honestly if you wait too long to plant these you could end up making less money than with other crops or even losing money. Moving into summer you'll start off with blueberries, corn, gardenias, hot peppers, sunflower, and wheat. Hot peppers are going to give you the best bang for your buck if you're just plopping your produce in the shipping bin, and they'll also continue to grow throughout autumn, more than doubling your overall profit. But if you're willing to put in a bit of time, wheat can be processed by running it through the keg. This will give you a much bigger return on your investment. As your town progresses, you'll gain access to bell peppers, melons, okra, starfruit, and tomato. You can also keep planting those radishes from spring. Out of this bunch, radishes are going to give you the best profit, and they only take six days to grow, which is a big bonus. Once you reach a D-level town ranking, go for the coffee. Process it through the keg, and you'll see the money pouring in. It's also a nice way to give yourself some extra energy if you need a boost throughout the day and don't want to run off to the hot springs. In summer, at town rankings F, E, and D, plant hot peppers, radishes, and pineapples for the best profit per crop. But if you have a keg and are willing to process your crops, go for wheat and coffee. That brings us to our second bonus tip. Crops will give you much more money if you craft them into artisan items such as honeys, juices, jams, and pickles. Prioritize crafting items like the bee houses, mason jars, and kegs when you gain access to them through leveling your farming and catching skills. And craft multiple of each. Taking the time to process your produce through them will do wonders for your wallet. You can see the increase in profit for artisan goods, as well as further breakdowns for each crop on the charts at the end of this video. But keep in mind that the profits per day of artisan items will vary widely based on how many crops you harvest and how many pieces of equipment you have on your farm. If you're willing to put in a bit of extra work, autumn is hands down the season for rice. You get access to it right off the bat at town ranking F, and it's going to make you so much money when you turn it into sake, though it might have to fight with barley for keg space. 
Not only is sake a great money maker, but it's also a great gift to give to your friends or potential love interest. Here's the thing though, if you're not committed to processing it through the keg, rice is not worth it. If you're a player who would prefer to just harvest and move on, or you don't want to make multiple kegs, you'll find much more success with other crops. In this case, the best crops for autumn at town ranks F, E, and D will be hot peppers, beets, and blue dahlias respectively. In my personal game, I noticed that even though hot peppers can grow in autumn, I wasn't able to purchase seeds for them past summer. So if you got rid of your summertime crops and Sam doesn't want to sell you any hot peppers, eggplants will be your best crop for a town rank of F in autumn. Bonus tip number three is to upgrade your seeds. Through diving, you'll find kelps. These kelps can be brought to Ling at the lab to upgrade your seeds and plants. Do this as soon as possible. The first upgrade dramatically increases the money you get from selling your produce. I really cannot stress this enough. Upgrade your seeds. Next, we're moving to our final season, winter. I know the devs have shared that winter is the season that still needs the most work, so we might see a change to this crop lineup. I personally have not made it to winter in my save file with a high town ranking, so I referred to the Coral Island Wiki to help provide this information. The wiki is a wonderful source of information that seems to be continually being updated. I have it linked below, so please be sure to check that out if you're interested. So far, it seems that unlocking winter crops happens at a town rank of C. These crops are currently cotton, snowdrops, and tea leaves. Snowdrops will give you the best base profit, and crafting it into honey will increase that even further. If you'd like me to post an update when more winter crops are added, let me know in the comments below or by dropping a like. This brings us to our fourth and final bonus farming tip. Do what makes you happy. While I crunched a lot of numbers to give you the most accurate information I could about efficiency, net gains, profit per day, and all that mathy stuff, none of this matters as much as you having fun in your Coral Island experience. If you want to plant a farm full of daisies, go for it, and send me pictures because I'm sure it's absolutely fabulous. This game is what you make it. I hope you find the information that I provided here helpful, but most importantly, I hope you're having a blast playing this wonderful game just like I am. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a flower emoji in the comments and tell me what your favorite crop is. Disney Dreamlight Valley still has me hooked on pumpkins, so that's it for me. Go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe for more Coral Island content. I go live every Sunday through Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I hope to see you there. Until then, may your island be filled with coral and your Pablo come bearing roses. See you next time.